simple clear guys so ang kwento po sa lugar na ito guys is uh, ito pong ito pong lugar na ito ay nung si Jesus ay namatay yung siya ay binaba sa sa cross dito po nilagay ang kanyang katawan para linisin at pahira ng langis so this is the place guys so ito po ang place na to ay napakahuli huli o mong huli one of the holy place so you can come here to pray this is the from the entrance of the church you can find it you can see it so, guys so dito po nilagay ang katawan ni Jesus nung siya ay binaba sa cross at nilinis ang kanyang katawan Hi guys, uh, tell you about the this church uh, the, the Holy Sepulchre guys, the church is initially was built by uh, King Constantine the Great when he came in Jerusalem in the middle of 4th century he built two small chapel one where the tomb of Jesus and the other one chapel in this where is the spot where uh, the place where Jesus crucified is in the Gol Golgotha and that's the beginning of the chapel built but when the crusaders came in 11th century Later, they destroy this uh, chapel and they build uh, a new one, a big one, a big church. And what you see now in Crusaders' times, construction. So now, so if you see the church now, is this the construction of the Crusaders? The church divided into area, in two kinds. There are areas belongs to each individual church, like Armenian and and Catholic. So, uh, the Holy Sepulchre, guys, is managed by the three three main churches, or technically, are the owner of the church, uh, the Armenian church, the Greek church, and a Catholic. So these are the three owners of the church of the Holy Sepulchre. So, as you can see, guys, uh, the the building so this is the constructions of the crusaders when they came in jerusalem so just look at this video guys and you can find it how good the construction is very strong so ito po yung tomb of jesus to show guys yan po yung tomb of Jesus ito po yun yan, ito po ay napakahuli ng lugar na ito and guys ito po yung tomb of Jesus so papasukin po natin yung loob nito so Ayan yung pinakataas niya. Ayan yung makikita niyo. Ayan siya guys. Nasa taas. So, bago natin bisitahin guys, wala yung loob. Ikutin muna natin itong place nito. So, this is the... po yung nakapaikot sa ka sa Tom of Jesus so this is the place guys this is the Tom of Jesus see it's very very sacred this, this is the whole this is one of the holy place ito po yun guys ha? so makikita nyo po so for now Puntahan natin yung loob ng 
tulad nitong Tomb of Jesus so ito po yung entrance so, wait ko lang po na lalabas yung isang tao guys, papasok na po tayo dito sa loob para makita natin yung loob so ito po yung place guys binalot sa Thank you. 
Hello guys, in this altar, uh, under this altar, you can find a hole that uh, hole that only your hand can get in. And in that hole, if you put your hand in the hole uh, down, you can touch the, the stone where Jesus crucified.
And now guys, uh, we are walking uh, the area where the Armenian church uh, on the place. So we're heading to St. Helena Church and St. Helena Church is the mother of uh, King Constantine. So, but the Armenian uh, call it St. Gregory Church. So, uh, because uh, St. Gregory was the first patriarch of Armenian Church. Uh, as you see guys, uh, this place is belong to Armenian church, so uh, we are walking this, ch this uh, stairs is, is belongs to Armenian church and you can see the all this part of the church is in the northern and the southern part. If you look at it, the both, the both part is uh, made by rock, not stone. So we 
going go inside the, of the tomb of Yusuf Aramatasi. So this is the place. So this is the altar, guys. This is the altar of Yusuf Aramatasi, and uh, in this place where it is tomb. Okay, we cannot do there because it's so dark. Need a flashlight. So I cannot take a video if my uh, plus light is on we will see okay, let's see okay so let's continue so this is the big altar so as I said this is this is the place of Joseph Aromatasi this is the tomb inside in this uh, uh, place in that wall in that, uh. so Joseph Aromatasi guys is the one who take Jesus from the cross so siya po yung nagbaba ng katawan ni Jesus nung si Jesus ay pinako sa cross nung namatay so, si Jesus para matasi po ang nagbaba sa kanyang uh, katawan At, so that's lang po ang ating trivia guys ang ating facts sa lugar na ito